welcome to the next session of finite element analysis in this session i am going to start with solving of numericals on weighted residue approach given differential equation is dy by dx is equal to x the domain is from 0 to 1 and the boundary condition given is y at 0 is 1 find y at 0 0.25 y at 0 0.5 and y at 0 0.75 by using different variational methods and tabulate your results so i'll start the first step is to assume an approximate solution for the given differential equation. So I write let y is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square. Now this should continue. Now till where I am supposed to write it was given by a specific rule that is the degree of this equation should be equal to the order of the given differential equation plus 1. Now in this equation the order is 1. So here I am going to write down up to 2. I will mark this as equation 1 and here I will write down degree of polynomial is equal to order of differential equation plus 1. So that is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Next I will apply the boundary conditions to find whatever constant values I can find. So applying boundary condition, the only boundary condition given is y at 0 is 1. So when I substitute in this equation 1, therefore 1 is equal to c0 and rest of the terms become 0. So therefore c0 is equal to 1. When I substitute this in equation 1, I will get therefore y is equal to 1 plus c1x plus c2x squared. This is equation number 2. Now this is the equation which I am going to work upon and find the value of C1 and C2. Next I will write down since solution is an approximate one. Therefore dy by dx minus x will not be equal to 0. But this will be equal to some other term r which is residue. Now I can find residue by finding the derivative of this equation y and substituting here. So y dash which is dy by dx will be c1 plus 2x c2 from this equation. So when I substitute in r I will get therefore r is equal to c1 plus 2x c2 minus x. So this is my equation number 3 which is the residue r. Next I am going to write the weighted integral form which is integration of 0 to 1. You can have seen the questions domain is given from 0 to 1. W i r dx is equal to 0. When I substitute this r in this equation I will get therefore integration 0 to 1 w i into c1 plus 2 x c2 minus x dx is equal to 0. I mark this as equation 4. Now I am going to start using all the non-weak form methods and I will find the value of C1 and C2. So I will start with the first method, subdomain method. Now the term subdomain means you are going to divide the domain. So you can just remember this way. So here what I am going to do is the value of w will be 1, the value of wi for all cases will be 1 and I have to divide the domain. So I will just write down for i is equal to 1, wi will become w1 which is 1. Now here the domain has to be divided. So for i equal to 1, I will write the domain 0 to 0 0.5. Since the total domain is from 0 to 1, I will divide in half, so 0 to 0 0.5 and in the next case I will write from 0 0.5 to 1. So I will write this equation again. Therefore, integration of 0 to 0 0.5 in place of w I will write 1, c1 plus 2xc2 minus x dx is equal to 0. Now I need to use a calculator for calculating these integral values. I will use the integration sign. Here I am going to multiply 1 into C1. Now C1 is something which I need to find so I cannot use that term. 
so it is only one that I am supposed to integrate and the domain is from 0 to 0 0.5 and I need to integrate I get the value as 0 0.5 so here I will write down therefore 0 0.5 and I will multiply with C1 for the next one it will be 2x which has to be integrated from 0 to 0 0.5 so here I will write down 2x Now I get the value as 0 0.25, so I write down 0 0.25 into C2 and for the last one it is integration of 1 into x, obviously it is minus x, so the negative sign I am going to incorporate later, so I will just write down integration of x. I get the value as here the negative sign is carried and 0 0.125 is equal to 0, so this becomes my equation 1. Next I will go for i is equal to 2, wi is w2 is equal to 1 and the domain will be 0 0.5 to 1. So, I will rewrite this equation with the domain as 0 0.5 to 1. So, I get therefore integration 0 0.5 to 1, 1 c1 plus 2 x c2 minus x dx is equal to 0. I need to integrate 1 then 2x and lastly minus x and the domain is from 0.5 to 1. So therefore I will get 0.5 c1 plus 0.75 c2 minus 0.375 is equal to 0. I mark this as equation 2. On solving equation 1 and 2 using simultaneously solving equations I will get the value of c1 and c2. So, I will write down solving equation 1 and 2. I get the value of C1 as 0 and C2 is 0 0.5. So, these are the values that I obtain. I am going to substitute these two values in the equation of y. So, therefore, uh, the equation is equation number 2. So, when I substitute, I get y is equal to 1 plus C1 is 0 and C2 is 0 0.5 x square. So, this is the equation of y that I obtain. Now, I need to calculate the value of y which are the checkpoints that is 0 0.25, y at 0 0.5 and y at 0 0.75. I get these values as 1.031, 1.125 and 1.28125. So, these are the answers that I obtain. Next, I will go for Galakin method. first write the formula of weight function that is coefficient of c i in y. So, I will start for i equal to 1 my w i will be w 1 and this will be coefficient of it should be c 1 ok technically speaking i is 1 so this will be c 1 but when you look at the equation of y you can see over here c1 is my first unknown and c2 is my second unknown. There could be a case where I have the value of c2 and c3 to be found or c3, c4 to be found. So, do not just take this line into mind that it is coefficient of c1 in y or c2 in y. It is just the coefficient of the first unknown in y. You can just remember this way. So, my first unknown here is c1 in y. You can see the coefficient of c1 is x. And for C2 it is x squared. So, here I will write down x. So, my w1 becomes x. I will be substituting this in equation 4. So, I get therefore integration 0 to 1 x into C1 plus 2 x C2 minus x dx is equal to 0. Now, I am going to integrate x from 0 to 1, 2 x into x from 0 to 1 and x square from 0 to 1 with a negative sign. I get the values as 0 0.5 C1 plus 0 0.67 C2 minus 0 0.33 is equal to 0. I mark this as equation 1. Now, for i is equal to 2, wi will be w2. This will be coefficient of C2 in y. When you see the equation, this term is x squared. So, when I substitute w2 as x squared in this equation 4, I will get therefore integration 0 to 1 
एक्स स्क्वेर सी वन प्लस टू एक्स सी टू माइनस एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो ना ऑन इंटीग्रेशन आई विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री सी वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सी टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई मार्क दिस इज इक्वेशन टू On solving these equation one and two, I will get the value of c one and c two. I get c one as minus zero point zero eight six five, and c two is zero point five five seven. When I substitute these values in equation of y, I get therefore y is equal to one minus zero point zero eight six five x plus zero point five five seven x square. I need to calculate value of y at zero point two five, which is one point zero one three. Y at zero point five, I get one point zero nine six, and y at zero point seven five, I get this value as one point two four eight. These are the answers obtained by Galerkin method. Now the third method is Petro Galerkin. In Petro Galerkin, W i is any polynomial in x. So I can assume something like x x square, x square x cube, x cube x raised to four. These are some ways you can assume. Okay, and this can continue any way you want. I will be assuming x square x cube. Neither am I going for two higher values nor for two lower values. So well, we'll start for i equal to one. W i is equal to W one is equal to x square. So when I substitute in this equation, I'll get therefore integration zero to one W i. Okay, that is x square into c one plus two x c two minus x. dx is equal to zero. We can substitute this x square. So I get the value as zero point three three c one plus zero point five c two minus zero point two five is equal to zero. I get this as the first equation. For i is equal to two, w i will be w two, and let me take it as x cube. So therefore, it becomes zero to one x cube c one. Plus two x c two minus x d x is equal to zero. So therefore, I'll get zero point two five c one plus zero point four c two minus zero point two is equal to zero. This is my second equation. On solving a and b, I get the value of c one as zero and c two as zero point five. When I substitute the equation of y, I'll get therefore y is equal to one plus zero point five x square. Now, obviously, these answers should be same as that of subdomain method. In the next method, I'm going to start with collocation method. In this method, I'll assume residue at any point is equal to zero in the domain. So let me take r as zero point two is zero. When I substitute the value of x as zero point two here, I'll get therefore c one plus two into zero point two c two minus zero point two is equal to zero. So therefore c one plus zero point four c two minus zero point two is equal to zero. This is my equation one. Next, let me assume residue at zero point five is zero. Therefore, c1 plus 2 into 0.5 c2 minus x is 0. Therefore, c1 plus c2 is equal to okay. This is 0.5. 0.5. So let me mark this as equation two. Now, on solving equation one and two, I'll get the value of c1 and c2. Solving equations one and two. I get the value of c1 as 0 and c2 as 0.5. Again, I'll get therefore y is equal to 1 plus 0.5 x square. Now, last I'll take up least square method. A least square method, w i is derivative of residue with respect to c i. 
so for i is equal to 1 w i is equal to w 1 so here i write down do r upon do c 1 now do c 1 is written again because c 1 is the first unknown it is not necessary that because i is 1 i write 1 here c 1 change this to the first unknown so here i'll get derivative of residue the equation again c1 plus 2x c2 minus x is the residue equation so when i find the derivative these two terms will be 0 so only derivative of c1 with respect to c1 will be 1 so therefore w1 has value 1 when i substitute in equation 4 i'll get therefore integration 0 to 1 1 into c1 plus 2x c2 minus x dx is equal to 0. Therefore, I will get c1 plus c2 minus 0 0.5 is equal to 0. This is equation A. Now, for i is equal to 2, wi will be w2. This will be dou r upon dou c2. So, it is dou by dou c2 of c1 plus 2x c2 minus x. These two terms will take value 0 because it is derivative with respect to C2. So, only this term has to be derivated. So, I get the answer as 2x. Therefore, integration 0 to 1, 2x C1 plus 2x C2 minus x dx is equal to 0. Therefore, I get C1 plus 1.33 C2 minus 0 0.67 is equal to 0. I mark this as equation B. Solving equations A and B, I get the value of C1 as minus 0 0.0152 and C2 as 0 0.515. Therefore, I get the equation of y as 1 minus 0 0.0152 x plus 0 0.515 x square. I get the value of y at 0 0.25 as 1.02, y at 0.5 as 1.121 and y at 0 0.75 as 1.2783. So, these are the values that I obtained by all the 5 methods. Now, I am going to tabulate this result. So, here you can see I have tabulated the results of all the 5 methods. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the lecture. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session with another numerical. Thank you.